All right. So first of all, we will need to log on to agrolinkmalaysia.com. So you can go to any web browser and then click on agrolinkmalaysia.com. So not to be too worried of the word not secure here. Uh, I have checked with my technical specialist. So she has told me that the not secure here will not actually um, affect and hack, allow hacker to hack into your PC, right? Uh, the, the wording not secure appear here reason because it is not a HTTPS website. So just remember not to use your user ID and password of your bank account uh, when you log on or put information to AgroLink Malaysia. All right, so it is actually safe to use it. All right, once you log on to AgroLink Malaysia, you will reach to this landing page, right? So in this landing page, the first thing we will need to do is to identify our role, right? So let's say I'm a farmer, so I click on farmer. It will then lead you to this page showing the three main industry in agro food product in, in agro food right and also this within the scope of the agro food productivity uh, nexus uh, by mpc so today i'm interested to know about crop let's say and i like durian right click on durian so these are the crop that we have uh, as mentioned by dr lee if uh, you do have any suggestion uh, to add on crops so you can always speak back to us right via the feedback button here so click on durian so after we click on to uh, the crop that you intend to search for information, you will reach to this uh, page showing you the main supply chain. So these are the main supply chain, production, post harvest, processing, distribution, and retail, right? These are the main supply chain. And underneath each and every main supply chain, we have the subcategories. So these are all the subcategories, right? So you might have realized that agotourism appear here and appear here as well, right? Technology appear here, 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 as well as under the post harvest. So technology appear everywhere. Reason because technology is, part, is also part of the category under the supply chain post harvest, as well as processing, distribution, and retail. So this is what... Uh, Dr. Lee mentioned about just now on the strategic positioning. So we will need to position uh, our services, right? Or position your product into the main supply chain as well as the subcategory. So let's say, for example, today I'm interested to know about uh, durian and uh, agotourism. So I will click on agotourism. So after you click on agotourism, you will, you will come to this uh, page whereby you can see here, these are all the subcategories, right? And these are the further category, further categorization under agotourism. For example, if I'm interested to look for a team building activity, to plan a team building activity for my, for my departmental members, so you can click on team building. So once you click on team building, then you will reach to this page, uh, I mean on the right hand side here, showing you all the links. So these are, the, the listing that have been put up by different company, right? Or different organization. So right now we have uh, put up the link that as, as shown here. So for example, if you're interested to know about this, you can click on this and it will then lead you to the page with the information, right? It, it is actually a direct information. It is not the, the home page, right? Direct information to the eco farm, right? So showing you the old tree showing you to the farm, right? Whereby the, the, the location of the farm, is it in a historical uh, city of Malacca, etc. right? So if you are happy with this link, so let, let's take for example, the link provided you with the information that you want, you can click on rating, right? Let's say I can click five star rating. So click on submit. But then you will need to ensure that you are, you are registered for you to submit, right? For you to submit, a rating, okay? So that is the tour to AgroLink Malaysia. Now, now that we are clear of what is on the AgroLink Malaysia, now we shall explore on how to get started to place our company website or the URL to AgroLink Malaysia, okay? So this will be my second part of my demonstration. So first of all, uh, I, will, I will show again from uh, the homepage. Okay, I should click on this one. 
log on any web browser. For example, I'm using uh, Mozilla right now. No, I'm using Google Chrome right now. So click on agrolinkmalaysia.com. You will reach to this page. And let's say uh, you're a supplier. Click on supplier, identify your role. You will need to register for a new, new user. Like let's say I, I would like to create a listing to, to promote my company website or to promote my service or to share the information that I have. I will need to register. So click on register on the top uh, right hand corner. You will need to register yourself. Uh, let's say I'm a supplier. Contributor name, uh, it could be uh, I'm Tan. So I can write Tan, Tan demo. Okay, this is a demonstration. You can write your organization. If it's not stated here, it means that you can click on new registration. So you can put your organization name, ABC, uh, ABC Sundar Berhad. So this is just uh, a sample, right? And then phone number, 016-123456. So you can put up an email address. Uh, hy at gmail.com and then your password remember not to use your um, Maybank or your banking password huh? so you need to ensure that you have uh, eight characters in the password confirm password and then click on register and you are registered okay so as you can see here uh, Tan Demo, this is my name, right? Okay, I'll be, so if let, I'll log in again. So that is how we register. So if let's say you have already registered, again, uh, you need to log in, right? You need to log in. So I'm using my admin account to log in right now. So when you register just now, like uh, what I have shown you is registration as an individual, you can also register uh, as an organization member. So for example, if you do have a lot of stuff that, uh, that you have identified to assist you in, in putting up the link to AgroLink Malaysia, you can actually inform us, contact us, let us know that uh, you would like to have an organization admin, all right? So after login, whether or not as an organization or as an individual, right? Uh, you will be able to assess here. So this is your username. One, two, three is my username right now. Right? Then click on uh, my organization. So if let's say I'm, I'm from, uh, I have my team to help me. If let's say you do have your team of uh, a few people to help you to put up the, the listing. Uh, you have the control, right? You have the control of uh, whether to, to, to approve their registration. So you can come to member permission. So let's say uh, one, two, three, four, five, all, all the five names stated here are all your staff member. You can either choose to approve or deny uh, their registration, right? So this is a special admin control that the AgroLink has got for your, for your company, okay? All right. So go to my account. Now, the next part that I would like to share is on content listing, right? The content that I meant that I meant here is actually your how to how to put up the listing for your website. Okay, so from the AgroLink Malaysia, just now on the top right corner, click on the uh my account, and then you will come to this page that I'm showing you right here, uh, right now here. So click on listing, click on listing, and we will lead you to the page shown here. So you need to create listing. Click on create listing. All right, so what do we have here? Again, it's the three main industries under the agri-food so if I, I would like today I would like to put up information related to crops so I click on crops so the hyperlink of my company website 
So for example, I'm interested to put something, uh, some information on uh, durian export, right? So this will be the information that I would like to put in. This is just an example, right? Okay, so I will copy this URL link. I will copy this URL link. Go to the create listing site. Paste the link here. Put up a specific title, right? This is the value proposition that Dr. Lee has uh, shared with us just now, which is the second guiding principle, right? So we got to put up a very specific title because if the title is not specific, people will just skip it, right? They will, they will, not, they will not bother to click into your link and, and go to uh, check on the information that you offer. So for example, export of frozen durian, right? Frozen durian pub to China, right? When, when, when a businessman see this word, right? export of durian pub to China. So uh, all of you here know that uh, how big is China market, right? So this is a specific title and it, could, and, and it can actually attract people to click in to, to check for the information that it has inside. And then under the description, this is the part that what Dr. Lee has shared just now as well on the value proposition. We will need to put up specific wordings to highlight and to kind of like sell what we have in our website here. So those of you who is in e-commerce business, you might, be, you might know about this, that we will need to optimize our listing. The same applies here. We need to optimize our listing. So under description, you can uh, put some information on what we have from this website. So in this website, we have the information of the introduction on uh, what is about, what is it about export of uh, Dream's Hub the export requirement of frozen durian pub, the procedure, what are the documents needed? So it's all very clearly listed here. What do you need to do? What are documents needed? What do you, where do you need to register, right? Register yourself with uh, the exporter, as an exporter with pharma, register yourself as an exporter with Marquis. The next information that we can find here is the processing center, right? These are the accredited processing center. Right. as well as how, how should we package and label it. So we should put up all this information not to miss any of it here. Okay, so description will be information about all, all the one that uh, we have gone through just now. Re export requirement, document required, uh, what are the processing center, accredited processing center, and the information of the packaging and labeling. Now, moving on to this part here, right? Uh, the part under crop supply chain subsector, this, uh, this is a uh, part under the strategic positioning, right? That Dr. Lee has shared with us, uh, one of the guiding principles as well. Okay, so this is about export of durian pub. So we should click on the crop durian. So we just click on the chat box, uh, check the chat box here, durian. And then uh, durian under, uh, it is about import and export, right? So it is about import and export. Uh, so it is not under about the crop or how to plant. So I should go to uh, the supply chain distribution. So under distribution, you click on the main supply chain distribution, click on distribution, right? Don't forget to put a, put a check here. And then this is uh, information about import and export. Click on import and export. So this is about uh, the Tax and permit, right? The procedure. Okay. Uh, you can also click on the quarantine, right? Because uh, it has got the information as well, right? So are we done? The answer is no, right? Because strategic positioning is very important. Do not forget that import and export also falls under the retail supply chain. So click on retail. Click on the retail checkbox. Import export. So we will click the same, uh, we will check on the same uh, information that we have put up just now, all right? So this, this is the strategic positioning part, right? Under the uh, AgroLink Malaysia, these are some of the advice that we, we, we provide to uh, businesses. Right, moving on next is under keywords. So for keywords, what are, what are the use, usage of keywords, right? Keywords is actually very important because uh, whatever we put in the keyword, will be captured by the algorithm under the search, fun search function. So 
if uh, any visitor that visit to Everding Malaysia and they do not have time or, or maybe sometimes they are lazy to search through the each and every subcategory that, that, that we have, they will simply click on the search function, right? So we will need to again position ourselves to put in put, to, to put up the right uh, the right keyword in search. So we got to optimize our listing. Yeah. So this is about durian import export. So we can put durian import export. So when we are done, uh, before we click submit, don't forget to put the check on the de de declaration. And then if you are happy with what we have put up, so-called optimize our listing, right? You have op optimize our listing. Okay, make sure you do not miss out any information. Click submit. Okay, so after we click submit, you see, this is the info that we add up add on just now, right? And export of frozen durian pulp to China. And this is the so-called value, uh, the value proposition, uh, the, the information that helps us to add value to our uh, listing. So it is shown here. In the future, if you want to edit, you can actually edit, right? And if you feel that um, this listing is no longer relevant, you can delete it, all right? So this edit and delete function is uh, available for, for, for the account who, uh, that, that entered the information, right? Means you are the owner of this listing. Okay, so if you want to create another listing um, on another specific page of, uh, of the service or, or uh, products that you would like to share, you can create listing and you can have uh, more than one listing uh, from each company or each account. Okay, so with this, uh, then it means that we have done, we are done with our listing here. Okay, we are done with our listing. So now we will need to view our listing. So this is the view. Uh, what we view here is, uh, is under the, the admin panel, right? It's under the so-called admin panel. So we will need to view our listing in AgroLink Malaysia. That's the most important part. We need to make sure what we have entered is actually uh, uh, put up in the AgroLink, right? So click on Home. Uh, click on AgroLink. Okay, so it, we, will, we will reach to this uh, page that we are very familiar with. So remember what are, what are, uh, what are the crop that we put up just now, uh, information of our listing. Is it durian? Yes, click on durian. And then uh, under the distribution supply chain, remember just now when we do our strategic positioning, we put up here. So click on import and export. And then uh, tax and permit. and permits. Uh. Dr. Tan, ABC organizations requires organizations and mean to approve first because the company oh, okay. requires that one. Yeah, so after you create your listing, it will actually show up in this agro link here, right? But because uh, just now I'm using a demo uh, from an organization account, so we would need the organization uh, admin to approve the information right before it could could be released to the agro link here okay member permission uh, listing one two three listing ah this is the one that we enter so i need to approve it go back go back to agro link go back to durian uh, import and export. Yeah, so it is actually here now, right? Under import and export, uh, export of frozen durian pulp to China. So this is the this is the this thing that we put up just now. Okay. So with this, uh, if uh, when 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 people search stuff through Agrolink Malaysia. And when they see that, when they found that this information is very useful, they will, they will put up their ranking, their rating, right? So with this, I hope you can uh, start to put up your company uh, website or URL to AgroLink Malaysia. So I look forward to see many new optimized links added to AgroLink Malaysia after this. So let us uh, get connected.
and uh, grow together using AgroLink Malaysia. All right, so that's all uh, that I would like to share with you in today's step-by-step uh, -step tutorial.